heard, I sent around the, the audio also of the, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> of our conversation with uh, Jen and the other candidates and uh, the very disturbing piece, the only thing that Rich Funky does not agree with is allowing people to use the bathrooms that the, of the gender they identify with. And he seems to think that that can be negotiated out of gender and then he'll pass it and everything will be okay. He doesn't seem to understand that that's the crux of gender and that's the crux of the problem. And by, by he is in a unique position as a politician to teach and to help people understand. We're all human. Doesn't matter, trans, straight, gay, color, religion, we're all human and we bleed red. And by not supporting that, and by perpetuating lies and perpetuating uh, false you know, fears, he's hurting us. And he's the one helping to create the violence that's happening, that, that has grown exponentially year over year, but this year especially. And we need to let people know if he's not going to teach people, we need to come together. And I want to especially thank our allies that are here today because allies, allies are the ones that can reach the people that Rich Funky can re could reach and is choosing not to. Tell him to stop perpetuating the lies. Let's let people here on Main Street know and maybe the people that are actually supporting Rich right now, unfortunately, aren't aware and we can make them aware. So thank you so much. that argument that, that uh, this vast issue I have with you. So what do you say that, uh, when you're talking to Rich? Well, so my first, you know, the, the very first thing that pops into my mind is, what are you looking at when you go to the bathroom? <laughs> right. You know, and, and you, you know, mean I mean, well, I'm not, let's you, put it this way, it's not me. In, how would you enforce this, by the way? Right. I mean, how, how do you know who has a key? And who has a vagina? Yeah, I, I, I would want to know if his, his genitalia has ever been checked. How would you possibly <laughs> enforce it? That's, it, that's yeah. exactly yeah. it. And, and, that's, that's, oh, and that's why I said it's a fear tactic. It it's is. It's a fear and tactic. And it's from the right wing. It's from the uh, the constitutional conservatives that, that are yep. in the court. <laughs> yep. That's the bathroom bill. Is what they've always called the gender <laughs> bill is the bathroom bill. And, 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 and people, the, the, the base, embraces that. They do so, because they're not educated about human, transgender people are human beings right. and, and they just play into that fear instead of educating themselves and really understanding. But I don't want my little girl to go into a bathroom with a man. She's not. Oh, I'm just. I know, I know. I know. That's exactly what he said on Evan Dawson. Right? right. How would you feel if your child? Right. There's already laws against uh, harassment and oh, yeah. abuse. Well, yeah. And the best part against that argument is he, he even said on Evan's show, he even said that there are things in place in the schools so that trans children can be their authentic selves. So if you pass a law to make it permanent, what's going to change? Those things are already in place. So it's not going to cost them any more money. It's not going to. It's not going to take any more time. It's in place. They have it set up. It's, most of the schools have it set up. So that's a, an invalid argument. Three or, four again, years, three or four years ago, Mike Long, who is the head of the statewide conservative party, made a statement that anyone that supports agenda will lose the conservative line the next time they run for re-election. And most most of the people that are running as Democrats in this area are Republicans. Need the conservative line to get enough votes to get elected. Yeah. And I think that's where it comes from. I've met, I've met with Funky at least four times, I believe it's four times. And he kept asking for more information, more information, more information. And then he started spouting the, the, the conservative party talking about the free of fear fear of this whole thing. Uh, women and children are not going to be safe. My wife is not right. going to be safe in the world. Right. It's, just, it's just a political thing to make sure he encourages and maintains the conservative line when he runs for re-election. Absolutely. The sad part is that 
so many women and children are probably more at risk in their own homes than they are in public bathrooms of yeah. violence and, and abuse. And, and, like and there is there is a um, an executive order from the governor, which has been in effect now for over two years, and there has been absolutely no evidence of problems in restrooms because of this law, right. which allows. Yep. Not That's a good it point. prevents discrimination against transgender people. Yep. The reason we need the bill through the legislature is not that we don't have the coverage within the executive order, it's the fact that the executive order can be erased anytime there's a change in administration. Yeah. Which, we, which we now know what happens with Trump and the executive order that Obama signed, he countermanded. Exactly. So that could, that could yeah. conceivably happen in New York State. That's why the legislature needs to act and codify this into law. Which you would think as a sitting, and, uh, as a and, sitting and politician. Based on the fact that nothing has happened on court while it's under executive order, why not just yeah, do, no, it? We do it? Right. And you can say, see what we did? We support all our trans constituents. Right. It's so simple. No risk. What's the problem? Yeah. What's the except, problem? Except he won't get them re Except the conservative, you lose exactly. the conservative line. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I noticed that you just said that he wants to negotiate language out of the bill, but that's the crux of the bill. What's the specific word that he wants negotiated out? He, he is fine with supposedly everything except for allowing people to use. I know, I know, I know what you're saying that, but what is the specific word he wants out? He's never, I don't think he's ever said that. So, if he's saying bathrooms, why are we saying that's the crux of it instead of just saying there is no bathrooms listed in the bill? It doesn't say that. It's no, true. It doesn't. The, the word bathroom is not mentioned in the bill. That's actually true. Well, we're calling him I'm out sorry. for what he's saying. I'm, so I'm he's, using pictures he's saying, more important. He's saying, I'm fine with the civil right, except. Right. So shouldn't our response just be, it doesn't say that? If we, we can. But to Pam's point, well, the, the we, we will say that we've always said that, but they come say, well, this, but because of that, it means that men will be allowed to go into the women's bathrooms. But it, but it also, it's but beyond there the bill. No, there is but no law that prevents that from happening, right. by the way. But it's beyond so the bill. This is a public servant who is, who is filmed, who is on the news, who is on the radio, and people, the same way that people don't know whether it's, uh, it's a biological male or female walking into a bathroom. People don't know what the bill says or doesn't say. So all he needs to do is stoke the fear by saying, ooh, you know, this, this man is going to walk into the bathroom and scare your little girl. You know, so it, it's beyond the actual physical bill. It's how you're presenting and how you're representing or not representing if your they, community. If in fact they could re if, if in fact they could enforce yeah. it based on Based on the um, genitalia that you happen to have at that moment, that would mean there'd be a lot of men with beards in the ladies' room because right. a lot of trans men have grown facial hair but have not necessarily had what's known as bottom surgery. Okay, so you'd have a lot of vagina bearded people in the ladies' room if this kept up, and that would scare the heck out of a lot of people. I think that would be a, I think that would be the, the fear that they're trying to instill in their constituents is exactly what would happen by not allowing transgender people to use the bathroom that they associate themselves with. Uh, so it, it, you know again it's 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 great and to Pam's point we have not just funky but but any time uh, over the past eight years. She got to stand there better than you or I did. No, but I'm just trying to get back to. Right. I thought no, we were right. not supposed to talk about, it, but maybe tactics. Well, I don't think we should be talking about bathrooms either. We just we just really play the whole. But, but, and the reality is that unfortunately the conservatives down, always boil it down to the bathroom down. because that's the easiest, yeah, uh, no, weakest thing to, to kind of hook into and scare people. I just don't see it. It's the thing everybody has to do. Right. Any way, unless you take all public accommodations out of the bill, there's no way to enforce, there's no way to enforce it, what right. he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly, which is, again, which is the, the joke well, that's of it. That's why I would ask him, what specific well, yeah, words in the bill do you want, you know, forget yeah. about bathrooms, it doesn't say the word bathroom. What yeah. specific words? Now, if he says public accommodation, then you can fight that and say, wait a minute. That means I can't go to the mall. Right. I can't go into a restaurant. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's right. 
Right, and then that goes back to the argument of gender police at, at, at in the malls and on, you know, everywhere. And it really, how many people that you see on a daily basis do you actually know what their genitalia is? Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless you've got a very unusual job. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. So again, thank you so much, everybody, for your support. It's it's really really important. Yep. Get back to the street. Let people see their signs. If anybody asks you about it, again, I sent you the link. Feel free to, to share the link. I told you at what point in the debate that he brought that up so you can fast forward directly to that and hear his words directly. I'm not making any of this up. Hear his words directly. I sent you the link to the to his uh, interview on Connections where he doubled down on that. And it really, you know, I, I just, I had to laugh at, at one point in the interview when he was talking about the executive order and, and that we're protected. And as Pam said, one of the first things Trump did when he took office was undo as many of Obama's executive orders as he could. And, you know, hopefully we won't have to worry about that with our governorship, but you never know. And the reality is it can be undone as, as easily as it was put in place. But what does it mean to you as a human being? Whether you're trans, you have a trans child, you have a trans friend, you have a trans sibling, you need to play on the emotion and, and help people understand from an emotional perspective and stop detaching. That's the, you know, they're trying, by, by statements like that, they're dehumanizing. And once you start dehumanizing a population, it's easy to discriminate, it's easy to justify any kind of violence that's incited as a result, and, and all of a sudden it all becomes okay. And it is not okay. It is absolutely not okay. Killing another human being because of who they are, instead of trying to get to know them, trying to understand what, what it's all about, is not okay. Not, not in my America. So, thank you. Can I have my <laughs> Stop trans violence!